those games where we seemed to, you know, get a we were twenty six eight up at one point and it looked quite comfortable, and then, you know, high ball went up and it was to ground and and it, and it seemed to kind of not cave in but get worse from there. No, it didn't seem to get worse, but uh, Catalan's a good team. They never stop coming. They've got good players in like Drew and Leon Price. You can change games and them sort of people. Um, once they get a roll on, it's hard to stop. Yeah, on a personal note, you had a uh, you know pretty decent match. Were you, were you pleased with how you went? Um, I was pleased with how I went in some respect, and then others not so good. So we've got like things to work on as a team, and um, we'll surely be doing that this week in training, and hopefully take it through to Sunday at Huddersfield. Yeah, it's going to be a tough game on Sunday, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to be a very tough game. Huddersfield are probably one of the informed teams at the moment, and um, that's what I mean. We've got to be at our best to beat Huddersfield at the weekend. You've been what is probably classed as you know unlucky with injury over the past sort of two or three years. Is it good to actually have a? You know, it seems like you're getting a bit of a run of games together. Yeah, I think that's what I need. I think I need just to keep um, keep the momentum going and hopefully get a good run of games through to the end of the season. Is it is it in the back of your mind that you've been? Uh, You've had some injury problems over the past couple of years? Um, until last year it was, like each time I went out on the field I was carrying little niggles here and there and I was always scared of pulling somewhere else but this year I feel good and uh, it's, it's at the back of my mind now it's gone. Excellent and uh, you know you're playing centre at the moment, you've done stand off, scrum half, what is your actual position? Um, for me personally I'd probably be number six but it's just having time to um, but I'm enjoying playing in the centres and right centre. I'm just enjoying playing rugby at the moment. That's that's it. Yeah, it was a, it was a crazy game, and like you said, I think our first half was the best best first half we've ever had this season. And second half, we let it slip, give some pelters away, and yeah, they capitalised. You it. have these parts of the season where, where you do have hiccups, and um, Catalan, uh, they're a big side. If it was a Wigan, then maybe it gets pushed under the carpet. But they are a big side, and they'll probably be contending at the end of the year. So oh, we've just got to get back on the training field and patch up some work and hopefully take it all through to next week. It was a great try. Shenny flicked it back and I was lucky enough to pick it up. Yeah, I was chuffed with it. Just caught it right off your uh, right off your bootstraps by the looks of it. Yeah, we, it was a real good team move. It was a real good set piece. Uh, Johnny and Gasky did really well getting it to us and yeah, I just finished it well. Did you think at that moment that perhaps <coughs> you know we've gone to 26-8 out and, and that would probably be enough? I thought that fight was game over, yeah. I thought we won it and I was pretty happy with it and but as you said, yeah, they come back. Yeah. How do you defend against a, a try like that? That last one, you know, it's going left and right and back. And God, oh, honestly, I don't know. I, f I think we should have wrapped the ball up and dealt with it, but in the end, we didn't. Is it sometimes it's more difficult to defend against tries like that because it is flying all over? Yeah, the it was. It was everywhere. I don't know how many passes they strung together, but it was everywhere. Yeah, and yeah, didn't deal with it. <laughs> and in the past, we've done that to a few teams as oh, well. Oh yeah, I think it was. Was it West who scored that famous try? And, I think that's been called the new one now, so I'm pretty gutted it should be us doing it to them. You're getting a pretty decent run in the team at the moment, kind of the back end of last year and also <coughs> this year as well. How do you feel about oh, that? Oh yeah, really good. I'm just taking my chance at the minute, really enjoying my rugby and hope if I can cement that place and play the rest of the season. I know it's a bit of a cliche question, but did you expect to be kind of first team regular at... Uh, I, I didn't at all. I didn't at all. No, I'm only 20 years old. Last year I played a lot of games, obviously with Eddie being injured. This year I thought, you know, maybe a bit rotation. So we'll have to see, yeah. I'm just looking forward to it, like I said. Yeah, can you tell the fans what your what your true position is? Are you a winger or is it just I'm a, I'm a I'm a I'm a full back in you know, so to speak, but I play play wing centre, you know, I played a bit of second row as well, but not super league, so wing or full back I'd say. Second row? You don't look big enough. I know, I played there against Huddersfield last year and <laughs> nightmare. You and Gardsy. <laughs> Me and Gardsy, that was it, yeah, rotation and flip the night. That was one of the worst games. So we're back at Huddersfield on Sunday as well. Are you, are you looking forward to that game? Yeah, definitely. I think we I think we own one there. I can't remember what score it was last time. And I'm just really, you know, from a personal point of view, putting things straight over there because I've never beaten them. I'm just really looking forward to it. Do you set yourself goals at all, Tommy? I, yeah, we have a. I have a. I set myself a few goals before before the game, and you know whether it's like make hundred meters, return the ball well, no errors, and yeah, I'll have a few this week. Excellent. And uh, finally, just for your thoughts on the rest of the season, I know it's early, early days yet. Yeah, very early, but obviously I want to personally go one, you know, I know the boys as well, want to go one better than last year, so, you know, that's winning the grand final.